who say that I have a sweet voice. I know it. You don't have to tell me. I know that I have a sweet voice. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby. The whole December, this is my first time. I am talking in front of this beautiful camera that you're seeing. But I'm here in Kumasi once again. My second time in Kumasi. Six months ago, I showed you guys Ice Cafe. I mean, I came to do a point and kill in here. How many of you visited this place because of Watermeyer? Leave a comment and let me know. This was the second episode that I filmed during my African entrepreneurship episode. I never got so much into details, but the story of what you see in here is really beautiful. The first time I came in here, I just told you that the woman who built this was based in America, came back to Ghana and established this beautiful thing. I never knew the story behind it. So today I am here to let you know what really happened? How did she manage to do this in here in Kumasi? It's not just Ice Cafe. We also got the Ice Village. And in two years time, she's going to complete this beautiful hotel that is on my right hand side. My brother, my sister, Africans are genius. And it's time for us to tell our own stories. Have you liked the video? Have you shared the video? Do me a favor. It's Christmas festive season. I need 10,000 likes on this video and I need 10,000 shares on this video. Make sure you like it, share it to friends and family. Come with me. Let's go talk to the brain behind Ice Cafe and Ice Village. But hey, since we are in the cultural center of Kumasi, this new hotel that you're seeing will be called Ice Tropical Cultural Center Hotel. You see how I told you that Africans are genius. They always want to make something that will represent them. Come with me. Hello, what am I? Me. Welcome to Ice Cultural Village. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Thanks. I mean, Ice Cafe is an incredible thing that you've established in Kumasi. Yes. And I heard you're also building Ice, Ice Cultural, Cultural Village. Village. This is beautiful. Thank you. After living in America for how long? 35 years. You decided to come and establish this beautiful, beautiful thing yes. in Kumasi. Yes. Mommy, you know what? The last time that I came, mm -hmm. I, I know you didn't know who I was. Yeah. And you didn't give me what really happened. <laughs> you just told me, that, oh, I left America yeah. and I want everybody to come back home. Yes. This time around, I'm here for the real story. Can you let me know what really happened? What, what really happened? What made you decide to establish something like this here in Kumasi? Oh. I came to the Kumasi Cultural Center mm -hmm. to establish a hotel. When you came back from America? Yes. You wanted to come here to establish a hotel? A hotel. Okay. So, with the um, paperwork and everything, it was taking too much of my time. How long did it take you? About seven years. Seven years? Yes. For the paperwork alone just to build in here yes wow so i decided okay not to waste too much time and you know um, raw materials and stuff let me just go ahead and just build a restaurant to start with and something you didn't tell me you have a restaurant in atlanta no <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted to build another restaurant, restaurant. in ghana yes so i, I built the restaurant about a month and a half for me to open it somebody put fire in it and everything went to ashes are you kidding me yes sir three years of building a restaurant in here mm -hmm. somebody just took a day not even a day second just a second to burn everything, everything down with a cigarette oh my goodness mm -hmm. Where were you? I was in US. You're not even in Ghana? No. So you were in America? I was in America getting ready to come to my grand opening ceremony. Mommy, like, I, I, I can't even believe what you're telling me. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. um, can we 
go anywhere else i want to sit down with you and tell me what really happened because like i was excited to talk about what you've done i never knew this is the story behind it yes. let's find a place i don't want you to be standing like can you let's sit down somewhere okay let me show you where it started oh okay <laughs> This is where I started, and everything came down. Oh, this is a bent tree, eh? Yes. It was about 65 feet tall um, log inside, and you can sit oh. everywhere. That can take about 350 seating and so like 350 seats yes and everything got bent yes mommy like i don't know if i should call you one of the strongest women who have ever lived you said you were in the u.s yes i i really want to talk to somebody who was around here who saw what happened yes do you know anyone around oh yeah i have my play mom hmm. and her name is um going when? That I call her Nana Gwen. Nana Gwen. So please let me go get her because she was the one on the ground. So she will give you what really, really, really happened. Where is Nana Gwen? I need to speak to Nana Gwen. Nana, Nana, we, we. I really want to talk to you, Nana Gwen. That's Nana my Gwen, mom, I'm your, Nana Gwen. I'm your, I'm your grandchild. Yeah. Yes, you are. My grand, your grandchild. Yes, you are. She told me that you were here when the place was mm. burning down. Yes. Yes. How was the feeling that time? Oh, it was awesome. I was up here, and you have to imagine that this roof covered every, all of this, that's how me the top one. It covered this. It wasn't halfway. And you could see it from the street. So when it caught on fire, I'm at this level. And someone said, nah -uh, mommy, mommy, your roof is on fire. And I looked up and everything was burning. So I have to come down, down to the ground. And the young lady, Margaret, grabbed me, security lady, and pulled me across the field. And this is what happened. It burnt down and it was huge everyone came it was just one of those hot days here and because i don't speak tree everybody's running 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 from all over it was a fearful day but uh look what god has done now he's back on top we're looking good it's even better yes. than before so mm -hmm. it's been a blessing it's not a horror story it's a blessing but they can rebuild God can let you rebuild. That's what it's about. It's a spiritual place. It's a lovely place. Granny, you, you sound like an African American. I'm an African American from oh. Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. <laughs> and how long have you been in Ghana? Well, I came to Ghana in 1973, just as a tourist. Just like some of these young people here. Fell in love with it and Ghana loved me. I love Ghana. You have so. to wait for me. Yes. Let me finish the video. Finish with, with my your, daughter. Your yes. daughter. <laughs> and I'll come and tell your story. Right. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Mommy, after all these things that happened to you, you managed to continue. Yes. What kept you moving? It's God. That's all I can say is God. So like, after this one got bent, mm -hmm. that's when you started the ice cafe, I mean the current location. Yes. When um, this place got bent, and um, I was sitting down and I thought of, okay, let me just have a point and change the concept a little bit. So, I went to Jamaica and I, I, I went to a place that they were selling fish, grilled fish with, um, they have something called bami. So I said, okay, then I can do tilapia or catfish with fry yam. It's almost the same. And that place was um, waterlock area yeah. that you can even have crabs and those kind of I mean, stuff. Where you have the yes. phone right now. Yes. So I called the fisheries department 
and they came in um, dig that hole for me and I got my fish pond. So the fisheries, they, uh, they gave me tilapia and one of my cousins called Tony. Mm. Two gave me the um, fingerlings of uh, catfish, about 7,000 fingerlings of catfish. And we just started raising them. So from the pond, and then how come I'm seeing many touch houses? Okay. So while I was in the US, and I thought of doing this kind of thing, my, my cousin, Tony, I, I told him about my concept. Just do just one small heart. And I have the feeling that I will be frying this yam and fried tilapia in a dynamic way. People will come all over to buy this kind of yam. So when I got here, he has built a humongous touch. So we kept on adding up one touch to another touch, another touch to a touch. And now we have what you call the ice cafe, cafe and, the grill. and grill. People don't even know the story behind it. No. And now you have the ice village. I mean, the former ice cafe, cafe is now a village. A village. Wow. So that's how God works. So, for me, I, I, I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that you never gave up. But I, I, I want to know why Kumasi? It seems that you really <laughs> wanted to do something here. Why Kumasi? Um, people always been asking me why Kumasi, why Kumasi? I'm from Kumasi. And a lot of people think Kumasi is slow, they don't have nightlife, they don't have any social life and da 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 When anybody asks me, oh, why don't you put uh, your projects in Accra or some place else? But Kumasi, I don't think it will work and I say, you just watch me. I'll make it work. Even if Atlanta has worked for me, why not my own village? So I just put a challenge to myself to just go ahead and, you know, do it in my way. And that's how you see it. Mommy, you lived in America for 35 years. Yes. You've been in Ghana for 10 good years. Yes. With whatever that have happened in here, mm -hmm. you still never gave up. I, I just want to know <laughs> why you left america in the first place because i have mothers that look like you mm -hmm. that are telling me that what am i i know you are telling us to come back home but i'm not making that step you have done it and i believe that you have succeeded just let me know how you did it why hmm, first of all it's not easy to move from like U.S., let me put it U.S., to Ghana and live here for all this kind of struggling that you encounter and everything. But you have to be somebody who have determined that no matter what it is, Kumasi is where I want to be. Because I always pray to God, please, my 55 or 50 what faith birthday, birthday. Okay. god should just give me a present of coming back to my um roots roots so when i decided that this is the time i know th is is it the time but you won't life is not that simple for me your 55 birthday god made that dream come true yes that is really beautiful you know, I just want you to send a message to our fellow brothers and sisters in the diaspora who are thinking of making that step just like you. I, I just want you to speak from the heart. What would that message be? As I said earlier on, life is not simple. And coming to Ghana too is not easy. But no matter what i'm still pleading to my brothers and sisters in the diaspora 
that have you know the feel to come home don't be afraid whatever it is god will make a way so if you come and you fail try again, try again and there will be another chance for you because this was this was not my first time you know i failed I had I mean twasso. Twasso, twasso, I had a spa. Those who know me, I had a spa mm -hmm. in Hachu. The atomic uh, junction. Uh, I mean a big old spa that if you enter that place, you wouldn't even think you are in Ghana. And you know how Ghanaians uh, oh I did not make money. I put about 150,000 US in that thing and everything by the time I get back from US, everything was gone. Whoa. So I gave it out. It's still there. Anybody who want to check it out can go to Hacho, where the um, total filling gas station is. You can uh, see that thing. I just gave it to the girls. I said, you can have it and make whatever that you want. Just gave it to them? Yes, I just gave it to them. So... So that was my first thing uh, I, 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 I tried in Ghana and <laughs> hey, I failed. You know, there's something that you didn't even tell me. Yeah? Wait, wait. When you were building this ice, ice cafe over there, uh -huh. yesterday you were telling me that you used to sleep where? Hmm. I had one, um, a wooden structure right mm -hmm. here. That's where I used to sleep. I know people wouldn't even believe it, but I'm for real. Sleep there? Yes. I then, slept there for about three months. Just to get ice cafe going? Yeah, because I live in um, Sokobine and it's way too far to this place. So, that was where I was living. I mean, I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your story with me. I'm so lucky to know what really happened because I was excited. I want to try point and kill, mm -hmm. but I never knew this is the main story <laughs> behind it. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. But um, if you have something to change about Ghana, what would that be? Just one thing. Honesty. That's the only thing. I mean, we are not honest. honest. That's all. But I know with time and with God, things, things will, will change. change. I mean, that's beautiful. And what has been the major challenge that you faced since you ever established this, started establishing this? Hmm. For the challenges, it's, it's a whole lot, but I can't even name them one by one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a challenge in Ghana, okay. so we have to take it as it is. <laughs> we have to take it as it is, yeah? You know what, um, I would love to talk to her more but I think I need to um, go around with your son just the way I did the last time. I don't want to spend too much of your time. But thank you so much for letting me know what really happened. And I think this story is really inspirational. If you're watching this video, it's a Christmas season. Inspire a brother, a sister today by sharing this video. I told you that let's get this video 10,000 likes and 10,000 shares. Be part of the 10,000 likes and shares. For me. Let me talk to Cobbs for the rest. All right. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Hey, what's up? Cobbs! Everything good? It's good to see you again, good man. Good to see you too. The way you're smiling, it seems as if you're having all the women. Oh, hey, no. Kumasi. No, 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 no. And you are COO and, or CEO. And you are COO. -O -O. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you again. I'm pretty good. I'm impressed. Really? The last time I came, yes. you guys have ice cafe yes and now you have ice village yes sir. why are you building a village in the city because hey now they call this place kumerica i don't like saying it but <laughs> Kumasi, it's a city you guys yes. are building a village in the city yes. why because we want to bring back the community feel that our ancestors used to always have mm. and i think that there's nothing better than to cook uh, local food the mm -hmm. local way mm -hmm. um, to have the artwork and to have everything all intertwined to just show the modern side of um, our culture you know what I mean that's beautiful man so I, I, I just want to know yeah yeah now you guys are building Ike's village yes what makes Ike's village so unique 
Um, there's, I, I say that we have the triple threat here. Yeah. Um, you get the culture uh, and the connection through music, through food, and also through accommodation now. Mm. And um, one thing that you'll notice here is that every room is unique. No room is identical. So what happens is that you'll go into um, each room and you'll see different, different type of concepts, especially um, borrowed from the um, Serigu women of the north. Um, mm. And the color scheme, the way that, of the paintings, is everything is borrowed from from that particular place too. The northern part of exactly. Ghana. Exactly. And then also what makes the rooms unique is that Every single room here is named after um, a powerful or um, very influential uh, woman, um, whether in Ghana or whether in America uh, um, or the Ashanti region. Oh, so, well, can you tell me one of the names of the room? Okay, one of the names of the rooms is Nana Amasewa. And who is Nana Amasewa? Of course, the, my mom. Your mom, huh? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, okay. exactly. She didn't even tell me her name. Exactly. Oh my God, I'm finding out your mom's name from you. Exactly. Uh, oh, and uh, you know what I love about this place? Yes. It's about the, the architecture. Yes. I mean, using touch roofs. Exactly. I mean, when you come in here, I mean, I feel like I'm home. Exactly. Jeez. Like, even this symbol. Junior yeah, symbol. Yeah, makes me feel welcome in here. Yeah. You understand? Exactly. Because when it comes to Ghana culture, this Edinkra symbol means Jinyame. Yes. Except God. But do you guys have Sankofa here? Because we have so many African Americans, Africans in the uh, in the Caribbean, Africans that were born here that even left. Yes. It's time for them to Sankofa. Exactly. Do you know what that means? That means to return or get back. No, I mean return and come and grab what belongs to you. Exactly. Africa belongs to Africans. Exactly. So it's time for them to come back here. Yes. But when we come back here, do you have anything that you're gonna give it to us? Exactly, we have all of our local food and our delicious meals that we love and uh, we live longer because of them. So. <laughs> is it in Muchia? Yes, this is Muchia Kitchen. And you know, I told you about the triple threat, yeah. about all, us also selling the culture through um, not just the accommodation, but through food. Mm. And so we teach you how to make local dishes the local way. Uh, and this is the local way. Whoa, you're gonna learn how to cook food here. Exactly. Yeah, but tell them that I will be the teacher when they come in here. Yeah. Because I used to use a butcher when I was growing up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't worry, when you come, you see me. Exactly. Teach you how to cook good food, yeah? But um, you what, gotta what, take me to the rooms or something. What about if you cook the food and they don't like it? They don't like it. They can never like my food, man. Okay. Only haters say that. <laughs> <laughs> and I know they don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to Ice Cafe Village. Alright, so welcome in, guys. Step Thank in. You. In the building of Ike's Cafe Village and Grill and everything. Let me sanitize my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Safety first. How many rooms do you have in here? So we have 11 rooms in here, and every room is unique and special in a certain way. And if you notice, the paintings on the walls also have a touch of feminism in it um, because uh, it's a borrowed idea from the Serugu women of the, uh, in the northern tribe uh, in Ghana. Northern tribe of Ghana? Yeah. So it's a blend of different tribe, culture, yes. and put it together, yes. and they are all represented in here, yes. in the cultural center of Kumasi. Exactly. Amazing. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, I mean, I've seen the rooms, okay. and this whole village is right in the center of the city. Yeah. Bro, is it affordable for someone like Watermaya? Oh, it's very affordable. You know at Ike's, we believe in value for money. So um, anytime that people come here mm. and they, uh, we tell them the prices, um, you can get a room for as little or, or less than $100 just for one room. Just for one room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the city center? Yeah, exactly. I mean, having the chance to connect back to your roots. Exactly. That's incredible. Yeah. But who are the people that are welcoming here? Everybody is. Everybody who wants to get a cultural experience, everybody who wants to get in touch with the ancestors, mm. come to Ice Cafe and Grill and you'll enjoy yourself. Come to Ice Cafe and Grill and come and eat and after eating come and spend a night in here and when the hotel is ready i will also come here and then talk about it so boy mr ghana baby i hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode don't forget to like share and subscribe once again Feliz Navidad. Hey. Uh, uh.